Uh, you are welcome to the channel again. Uh, my name is Annie Obina. I, I plead with you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Like the video, share the video, that so that uh, you can always uh, uh, get notified anytime I send a video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, purple again. Uh, I've grafted I've, uh, this branch. Today I'm going to uh, transplant this branch. And I'll show you how I go about uh, doing it, getting it right. I like purple so much because it guarantees steady source of income. Apart from the fruits and the benefits when it comes to money, it's something that gives me money all year round. Why? Because with my irrigation system, the purple, even in this small uh, extension of my farm this is just an extension even in this small extension of the farm the purple I grow here guarantee steady source of income no season it keeps on fruiting in the season out of season because I because of irrigation system once you have source of water making sure you apply water every now and then the purple keep on growing so from uh, with that, every moment you have purple available. I always have purple, no matter the season. People come here and buy purple every time, not minding uh, the season. This is a, a dry season, and I'm going to show you, even in the dry season, you will see the purple growing, still coming up. Uh, that's how it makes the cycle continuous. So I'm going to show you how I, I do the transplant. And also, I'm going to show you also my uh, irrigation system, how I wet the purple state. Now I'm going to cut the branch, and you are going to see how the roots has de developed from the branch. I'm going to cut it, and uh, you will see. This way I'm cutting it. I cut it from here. This is it. I will remove the nylon. You can see now. This is the root. This root has developed. So this is, with this now, I'm going to plant. And after planting it, I'll be wetting it. In a matter of uh, days, it will stabilize and it start uh, fruiting. Okay, I've dug a hole where I'm going to plant the branch. You can see the hole is deep. Why do I need to dig it deep? I need to dig it deep because if I don't dig it deep, by the time it starts fruiting with many fruits on it, it's going to fall. But as I dug it very deep, it's going to have a root where balance down the soil, so that by the time it has a fruits all over it, it will be stable. Then when I now put the uh, put it inside. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to put this uh, compost with manure that will make the root development to be faster. So uh, let's put it and then cover it. These are the roots from here and also here. So it has developed a very good root system. Both sides. I'm going to put it down. See it? See it down? Then you put the 
Ayan nyo. Ayan. Cover it with salt. Okay, so the next thing is to put water, wet the root. So I can see the water. Now wet the water. This is how I wet the farm. You can see. This is one of the irrigation system I use here. You can see it wetting. You can see it. Rain gun, sprinkler. That's how I wet the farm. See the second one. You can see it. See it rotating. 360 degree rotating. This is how I ensure uh, continuous fruiting year in, year out. After like one month's time, it's going to be like this. Look at the one that I've done earlier. You can see it's already fruiting, doing well. You can see it, this one I've done earlier already fruited and they see fruiting with many seeds on it so uh, this time I plead to that you subscribe to the channel uh, hit on the notification button so that anytime I made an upload you will get notified like the video share the video thanks and God bless you.